guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back again uh, with a back to school tutorial for you guys. This was one of my requests on my, on my Instagram, so I decided to create a beautiful, uh, really easy, uh, natural-ish makeup uh, for back to school uh, for you guys. I, I did already do my brows just because I do like my brows bold. If you don't like your brows bold, you can stay with natural. I just don't have any brow hair at the end, so it takes me a lot longer time to do natural uh, brow look than bold. So I stick uh, to my uh, bold brows, and if you don't like it, like I said, you don't have to do it. Um, it literally only takes me like takes me like five to ten minutes to do my brows like this. And if I were to decide to do a natural brow tutorial, it literally takes me about 15 to 20 minutes because I have to create each and every um, like a hair strokes. Um, so, so <laughs> anyway, I already did my brows, which is bold. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my face. Um, I already did my moisturizer as well, uh, and you guys know what moisturizer I use. In my last video, I mentioned my moisturizer and eye cream and all that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the foundation. Um, I am going to go ahead and use my favorite double wear foundation today as well just because it is long ring makeup and it will literally last you all day at the school. You don't have to worry about touching up your face, you don't have to worry about melting your makeup um, and it has a natural finish at the same time. Um, so it looks like you are flawless naturally. The bottle actually is going to look like this. Um, it does not have any SPF, so um, I would like to make sure that I have uh, SPF on my moisturizer. So make sure you do that as well. If you don't have SPF on your moisturizer as well, you can always add sunscreen and then uh, and then do a foundation. Uh, but if you do have your own favorite foundation that works best for you, go ahead and stick to your own foundation. You don't have to use Double Wear. The only reason I love Double Wear is because it literally freaking lasts me all day and um, I just love that. Okay, let's go ahead and mix my color. So here is my Double Wear. There's two different colors in there. I'm going to use back of this brush and then just mix them together and go ahead and dot this on my face. all this double wear with my beauty blender and make sure your beauty blender is damp when you are using your um, blender so it blends better and it will soak your foundation and I'm actually not going to use concealer just because it's an extra step and um, to make the look very simple and easy um, I just want to have foundation on, so just make sure you have foundation under your eyes as well. If you do have like dark circles and you want to cover it, um, you can always use a color corrector before foundation um, and then put foundation on and then you don't really uh, need a concealer. But if you're a person who prefers to have concealer, you can go ahead and use your concealer. I just don't want it to use it just because it's one less step and I don't have to worry about My foundation is all blended and um, the only liquid product I'm using today is pretty much this. I'm not going to use a concealer at all and I'm not going to use any contour product. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye with the powder. I'm going to go ahead and set it um, and I am going to use the powder from Bare Minerals. This is Invisible Invisible Light um, and there's two colors in here. One's matte matte so it's just pretty matte and one's with the glow. So there's a little bit of shimmer on this powder and this one's just pure matte white powder and it's transparent so it's not going to look really white on your skin either. So I'm actually going to go ahead and use the glow one and I'm going to use the glow part of the Bare Minerals Invisible Light Powder Duo. Um, in the brush I'm going to use this Precision Highlighter Brush by Makeup Addiction. Um, it looks like this. Uh, it almost looks like a taper highlighter brush from, make, um, from Sigma Beauty. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this powder right here and then I'm just going to 
dab this just under my eye. So I'm just going to set it on my T-zone pretty much uh, where my makeup tends to fall away as the day goes on. I'm going to do a little bit on my nose and my forehead. Okay, that is all done. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and grab a bronzer as well. Okay, now that my foundation is set, I'm going to go ahead with a bronzer. Uh, the bronzer I'm going to use today is the Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. The color I'm using is medium. It's pretty neutral color, so it goes with any skin tone. And I'm actually going to use my bronzer to kind of contour a little um, to give that soft, natural contouring a look. Okay, there's our color. And the brush I'm going to use is a stippled brush by Makeup Addiction. Uh, it's just like a plain stippled brush like that. So I'm going to grab my bronzer with that. And then pretty much where if you were to contour, um, apply there. And then some in my forehead line. I don't know if you see the difference. Um, just it just it's like it's a very very light difference, but I feel like I can see it. <laughs> I hope you can too. But it's just a soft con contour, soft contour with just a bronzer bronzing powder. Something on this side. Okay, the bronzing part is all done. I'm gonna go ahead with the blush. Um, I don't like too much color on my cheeks, so I'm gonna go really light and really soft um, color for my cheek. Okay, so for my blush, I'm gonna use color um, Wild Sunset, which looks like this is beautiful soft coral color from Estee Lauder as well. And the brush I'm gonna use is 640 Pro Precision Tapered Brush by Luxie. Um, this was one of my uh, brush that I got on my boxy charm. I don't remember which month, but it's a full size brush. Um, yeah, if you guys are not subscribed to boxy charm, I think you should because you will love it. It um, it's a subscription it's subscription for every month, and you get a full size five full size products, and I think it's only twenty dollars or twenty one dollars a month. So it's totally worth it. Um, I've been getting box charms since I think February, and I haven't regretted at all. Like everything, every month I get is full size, and all the products that comes in are amazing. So I can't wait for this this month for the box this month. Anyway, so yeah, this is a brush that I got in one of my uh, boxy charm box. I'm gonna go ahead and use this brush and this um, blush. <laughs> blush part is done as well. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a highlighter. Okay, so the highlighter I'm gonna use is um, by Ofra Cosmetics. This is called Rodeo Drive. And the same thing, this highlighter, I got it on my BoxyCharm brush at BoxyCharm box as well. Um, and like I said, it's a full size product. It's just amazing. The BoxyCharm is uh, freaking amazing. You should definitely subscribe uh, for BoxyCharm if you're not subscribed. Okay, let's go ahead and highlight my uh, face. And the brush I'm going to use is the Tapered Highlighter F35 Brush by Sigma Beauty. Um,
highlighter on my brow bone. And in the brush I'm gonna use is E56 Shader Lid Brush by Sigma. And I'm gonna grab some of my um, Rode oh, Rodeo Drive highlighter and then Done with the highlighter finally. Now let's go ahead and do my eyes. I'm actually pretty much done with my face. Um, so let's go ahead and do my eyes and my lips and I'm pretty much done and ready for school. Go ahead and do my eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. I'm gonna start with the color Creme Brulee which is right here. If you're not as tan as me, you can always go with the lighter color, um, which is Peach Smoothie. Um, that's like a really pretty color for me for winter because I do get a little bit more lighter. Um, so yeah, go ahead and use the lighter color called Peach Smoothie for lighter skin. And if you're like tan as I am, uh, or even a little bit darker, you can always use Creme Brulee for that. Okay, and the brush I'm going to use is my fluffy, big fluffy blending brush from Morphe. This is MB23. So I'm gonna grab my cream brulee with this brush and then go ahead and apply it all over my eyelid. It's a back to school look guys, so it's gonna be very um, soft eye look. I'm just gonna stick with the matte colors. I don't wanna do any shimmers. That is pretty much uh, it for the creme brulee. Now I'm gonna go with the colors Tian Lines, which is this uh, soft brown right here. And I'm gonna use that um, on my tweet. Okay, and the brush I am gonna use is um, Blending Shadow Brush 25 by Estee Lauder. This is one of my favorite blending brush. I think it is like $36 or $37, so it's pretty uh, pricey. Uh, but I've had this for I've had this brush for about two years and it still looks a brand freaking new. Um, and I pretty much use this every day as well. It's one of my favorite blending brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this brush in color tan lines. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just use it on my cream. Now I'm going to go ahead with this dark brown color mocha right here um, all over my eyelid. Um, if you are lighter skin than I am, you don't have to use that color. You can actually just use the uh, tan lines on your uh, lid and just blend it up. That will give you like a really soft natural brown look. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and use the mocha and I'm going to use this all over my eyelid and blend it up. So I'm pretty much done with the mocha color on above my eye. I'm going to go ahead and use, grab the same color and put it on my lash line, on the bottom lash line. I doubt about us, and now I'm right back at the start. Halfway through a bottle, baby. So I'm pretty much done with my eyeshadows. Um, that's all I'm gonna do uh, for the eyeshadow part. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a mascara and put some mascara on. Let me go ahead and curl my eyelashes first. I don't have any eyelashes, so I'm actually gonna use my falsies as well. Um, if you have really good long eyelashes and your mascara and curler does enough for you, then you don't have to use falsies because it is extra stuff that you're adding um, and if you're not and if you're not um, 
comfortable using eyelashes, it's gonna take you longer, so it's just gonna be frustrating, so you don't have to do false lashes. But I don't have any lashes, um, seriously, I don't have any like natural lashes, so I am gonna go ahead and use my falsies as well. Um, let me go ahead and curl my eyelashes first. So the reason I'm curling my lashes is uh, to make sure that my natural lashes blend with my uh, false lashes so it almost uh, looks natural. And you know how to forget. I am gonna use my pencil um, liner from MAC, it's feline, and I'm just gonna use this on my lash line. Upper lash line. I'm done with the eyeliner. I'm gonna go ahead with the mascara. The mascara I'm gonna use is from Lancome. It's definitely um, Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my falsies. Um, the falsies I'm gonna use is, uh, it's very natural looking. It's uh, by Ardo and it's their Wispies, Wispies Lashes. I think it's number 134. I don't have a box with me anymore, so I'm just gonna show you. It's like, it's like this. So it's pretty, it looks very, very natural when you put it on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my falsies on. Um, the glue I am using is by Huda Beauty. Um, I love her glue. They're uh, they're so amazing. It dries out so fast, so you don't have to wait so long for your uh, lash glue to set in on your eyelashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply. Okay, that is pretty much done. Um, see how natural it looks. Um, it makes just it just makes your eyelashes look fuller and natural. And um, I love this lashes for days when I don't feel like putting um, big heavy lashes on. My falsies are all done, so I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of mascara on my uh, lashes just so my natural lashes and my falsies belong together. Okay, and I'm going to put a coat of this mascara again for my bottom lash line. So for my lips, I am going to use the uh, NYX Lingerie uh, Liquid Lipstick. I'm going to use Color Ruffle Trim. It's like a beautiful, um, really soft nude coral look. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this color. I'm going to stick with something natural on my lips. Um, and this lipstick, I think it's only 7 bucks, And it literally lasts me all day too, which is what I like. Um, even when I eat on my lunch or um, after I haven't really had to touch up every time I use the um, laundry lipstick. So let's go ahead and put it on. It's very natural nude with just a little bit of hint of coral. You guys know I love matte lipstick, so it's definitely a matte finish. Um, if you want to add gloss on top of it, you can always do that, and your lipstick will hold up all day. Um, so you can just add gloss throughout the day, um, and you'll still have that soft coral, soft color left on your lips. Um, so I am done with this look. It literally will only take you 20 to 25 minutes for this look. Um, very simple. If you skip the lashes um, and if you skip uh, the bold brows, it will probably take you even 10 to 15 minutes. 
So uh, it's a really easy everyday uh, look for back to school. I hope you guys uh, love this look. Um, it's very simple. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. And I will be back soon. Let me know what you want to uh, see again. And I will make sure to make that happen. Um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, and again, uh, make sure you subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's M O N Y C A T A M A N G. Monica Tama. Um, and what else? I think that's about it. Um, I felt like I wanted to say something, but I forgot. I don't remember. Okay, if I do remember, I will tell you guys in my next video. <laughs> okay, um, so thank you so much for watching again, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. I hope you guys have lots of fun back to back in school. And be careful. Be safe out there. Um, I love you guys, and thank you so much for watching again. Bye bye.